Hello everyone, welcome to Upwarming. This is our third session and today we're going to have a little look at how you make that first sound with your voice. Now I've deliberately chosen to start this as early as I can during the day. In fact, as I'm recording, it's about half past seven in the morning, which is as early as I dare make any sound in the house with sleeping children. But I think it's important to have a look at how we get that first sound in our voice. And uh, those of you that are used to singing will know that we're generally a little bit bassier in the morning. And you may find that those first few notes of the day can be a little difficult or you can feel uh, perhaps a little bit of something building up in your throat. So we're going to talk about that today and we're going to have a little look at how you can warm your voice up carefully and thoroughly and make a good sound without damaging anything in your throat. And you might hear already, just as I'm speaking, there are a few little hitches, a few little, as I call my, uh, as I say to my younger students, gremlins in my throat. Uh, and so in order to get that, the process started, the most important ingredient is water. Okay, so please make sure if you're going to follow this activity along, this, this bit of upwarming, that you have some water handy. And in fact, before you do any singing, uh, at any time of the day, make sure you've had a full glass of water. And if you've been drinking tea or coffee in order to get the rest of you awake and alert, then you need to drink a, at least a glass and a half of water. All right, I'm going to have a little sip now. I invite you to do the same. Now, a little bit of biology before we start. Of course, the uh, vocal folds, the vocal tracts, are a, a, is a very, very delicate part of your body. It lives here. And uh, as you warm it up, you will find that various, uh, various things will happen. You'll find that perhaps as you go from the lower notes to the high notes, that there'll be certain, certain pitches that perhaps feel rougher. Um, there'll be certain times when perhaps you feel a little bit of uh, oil or, or, or fluids and, or so on come loose. That's entirely normal. And I say to my students, remember every night as you sleep, your body replenishes itself, it repairs any damage, and um, the way to think about it is perhaps is that a little bit like when you get a brand new phone, you, you have that plastic that you peel off, it's the most satisfying part, I think, of phone ownership. Um, well, it's the same with your, your vocal folds and your vocal tract. Uh, your body replenishes any damage that was done and just puts a, a, a nice protective coat of oils and, and mucus and fluids on it just to uh, preserve it and keep it uh, keep it in good shape. So when we come along the next day and we try and use it straight away, if we haven't warmed it up, there will be hitches and there'll be uh, gremlins in our voice. And so what you need to do at that point, first of all, absolutely key, as I said, is to drink plenty of water. All right, that will help wash away uh, and and uh, and create an extra bit of hydration in your throat, which will allow that to naturally just dissipate. Secondly, avoid coughing at all costs. Avoid coughing. I work with a lot of singers who, as they're warming up, they'll feel a little gremlin come loose in their throat and they start <coughs> Now the problem with that is that, well, a little bit like taking a power washer to your car, yes, you'll get the dirt off, but you'll take off more than you need to. Uh, if, you, if you power wash your car, you lose the clear coat and then you know, your car, the paintwork is ruined. It's even more important with your voice. If you cough, it's, uh, it's like taking a compressed air cannon to your vocal folds and to your vocal tract. Uh, and that can lead to problems, that can lead to you straining your voice. So the advice I'll give you is instead of coughing, swallow hard. And just try that for me now. Let's swallow hard together, okay? And you will feel a little bit like wringing out uh, a wet flannel or something. You will feel those fluids move away. You follow that up with a sip of your drink. And again, a hard swallow. And so what I always suggest to singers, particularly if you're singing early in the morning, and this is really good advice for those of you who sing regularly, uh, or perhaps on a Sunday uh, in a church choir or so on, where you have to have those high notes very early on in the morning, is to start singing at a low pitch and then to gently hum up. So I'm going to start right down nice and low. Mm -hmm. As I moved up, I could feel a little bit of uh, a little bit of build up there. So again, a hard swallow and a sip, and let's hum together. So we're going to start on a G, nice and low. Here we are, and. Now the 
moment you feel or hear any gremlins in your throat, stop, swallow, have a sip, go back a couple of notes and then continue up. Now at some point, particularly if you are a bass or an alto, you'll have to go up into your head voice. That's absolutely fine. Don't try and force uh, your, your chest voice until it's ready. This is part of the warm up. Uh, at which point you can go into your head voice and carry on up. So if you repeat that process a couple of times, start at your lowest note, very, very gently hum up. And uh, if you're finding that there's a, a, a lot of build up, then try sighing into the hum. This has the added effect of helping warm your diaphragm up as well. So please remember, drink plenty of water before, during and after making that initial sound. Avoid coughing at all, at all costs. And as you're moving up, if you feel any of those little gremlins, just sneak out a hard swallow and a drink of water. And you'll find very, very, very quickly that you'll have a voice that's ready to start singing uh, and making a good sound. So thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Take care. I'll see you soon.